Hello and welcome to Math 200 Online Statistics at Kenyatta College. My name is Ray Lapus. In this video we will do a homework problem from section 9.3. It says listed below are the number of years that archbishops and monarchs in a certain country lived after their election or coronation. They want us to treat the values as simple random samples from larger populations and they want us to use a 0 0.05 significance level to test the claim that the mean longevity for archbishops is less than that for the monarchs. So if we take a look at our choices here, what are the null and alternative hypothesis when we assume that a population one are for the archbishops and the population two are for the monarchs? It says archbishops, the longevity for archbishops is less so it's going to be a less than symbol between mu1 and mu2. Uh, the only less than symbol I see here is in part b, so that should be the answer. Okay, the next part is going to ask us to compute the test statistics. For this we need the, the data set. So we'll click on the data set and we will have it copied over to StatCrunch. So let's make this fit in our window. We have the values. We actually um, have a list of values here that go up to 24, uh, 12 over here. Um, <clears throat> we can find the statistics, but let's go ahead and run through the hypothesis test. This is going to be a T statistic hypothesis test with two samples and we actually have the original data set so we'll select this one with data. Uh, the values for the first sample that's going to be the archbishops and for the second sample is for the monarchs. Uh, we, we never really want to choose the pooled variances so let's keep that off and our hypothesis test is always going to be compared to zero uh, for our chapter 9 comparison between two samples. Uh, we also decided that the uh, archbishops had less longevity than the monarchs, or at least that's what we're testing, and so we'll use the less than symbol. Um, let's keep the output coming here. We can do a p-value plot, although it's not necessary. You can also see this, uh, the summary statistics if you want. Again, not necessary. Uh, let's go ahead and select it anyways. These are all optional. And then uh, we can ignore the rest of that. And let's ask this to compute. And here is here are the results. Uh, first of all, the summary statistics are here if that was needed. In this case, we don't really need it. Uh, more importantly, we want to find our test statistic and our p-value. So our test statistic is going to be a negative, <coughs> negative one point, uh, two point. I'm sorry, it's going to be a negative two point one seven five. So let's go ahead and copy that and find our problem again. Let's enter the value that we found and rounding off to two decimal places we are looking at uh, five being five or bigger so we're going to change the seven to an eight so our test statistic is negative 2.18 our p-value is also given uh, by the way before we paste in our p-value let's take a look at the stat plot it's on the left tail so this is our p-value plot and um, and that's it. Let's go back to our problem and put in our p-value. They want us to round off to uh, three decimal places and so that's going to be 0 0.018. 0 0.018 compared to 0 0.05 it looks like it's going to be less our test statistic is less, so we're going to reject the null hypothesis. So it's either A or D. Uh, let's look back and remember that our 
claim was the alternative hypothesis. So when we reject it, we're, when we reject the null hypothesis, we're actually supporting the alternative hypothesis. So we're going to reject the null hypothesis. There is sufficient evidence to support the claim, uh, which is the alternative hypothesis. Uh, the other one says there is not sufficient evidence, but I think we're looking at the rejecting the null hypothesis that provides a support for the claim. All right, now they want us to construct a confidence interval. Let's go back to our set over here. Let's close this one. Uh, let's construct a confidence interval. So we'll do the stat t2 sample with data again. And again, we have the archbishops in the first set and the monarchs in the second set. And this time we want to construct a confidence interval. Now let's take a look at this. Uh, they used a hypothesis test with a 0 0.05 significance level. So you would think that our confidence level is 0.95. Uh, unfortunately, that's not the case. Our hypothesis test was a one-tailed test. And because it's a one-tailed test, that 0 0.05 goes only on one tail. Now when you spread that out as a confidence level or confidence interval, which is a two-tailed test, um, you're going to have a 0 0.5, 0 0.05 on both tails. That, that makes a 90% in the middle. So our confidence level should be 90%. Okay, <clears throat> now we can redo the summary statistics or we can just ignore those optional things to include. And let's go ahead and do the computation. When we do that, we get the lower limit and upper limits. And the lower limit, let's paste that on and round off to three decimal places. So at the three decimal places, the seven becomes an eight because six is bigger than five. And our first, our lower limit is negative 4.518. Let's find our upper limit. And round off to three decimal places again. Uh, we're going to increase 5 by 1, and we're going to get a negative 0 0.566. Let's check that. Looks good. And uh, this thing does not include 0. They're both negative, so this is happening on the left-hand side. Uh, so this, is, this support the conclusion of the hypothesis test. In the hypothesis test, we saw that it supported the claim that archbishops have a lower mean uh, longevity. And so they're both negative, they're both lower. If, uh, so th in this case, it does support the conclusion of the test. Uh, because the confidence interval does not contain zero. Not only does it not contain zero, but it's all negative values. Um, both limits were negative, and so this is happening on the negative side. Uh, if they were, if it contained zero, then we would say that the 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 two means are about the same, or significantly the same. But it did not contain zero. So they're significantly different. Moreover, uh, they're all negative values, so it looks like the archbishops will have less. All right. I hope that helps.